Yo, so this trip in Giri T is my first ever trip doing scuba diving. So I just finished my first dive today and I'm making this video on day one. And I just want to share what's been happening for me. So first of all, there's a few things I'm going to talk about in this video. So number one is social dynamics, right? Like I'm learning so much about business on this trip because if you think about it, I'm here on Giri T, as you can see, it's beautiful. And there's so many different dive shops. Like this is the one we decided to go with here. And my friend actually dove with these people before. But the interesting thing is the fact that he chose this one, which is actually not the closest one to the pier. The pier is back down there. And there's about, there's about, well, two or three uh, diving shops before this one. But he chose this one. And it's interesting because I'm, I, I see why he chose it now because it's not just about what they offer because diving, open water diving is everywhere. Like you can go diving anywhere if, they have, if they're a dive shop. So why did he choose this one? Well, the reason why he chose this one is because of how, they, how good they are with people. Their people skills are very good. So what do they do? So first of all, walk in there, everyone's friendly, they're smiling and they're greeting us. Second thing they do, Oh, so uh, are you interested in diving? Like asking curious questions. No pressure. Never at one time did we feel pressure. We felt welcome from the get-go. And after that, they, they educate us. So educating your customers. So they educated us on what we were going to be experiencing and, you know, asking us if we had any questions. Really good, like really good salesmanship. And then we signed the forms and they just handled all of our questions, right? What that does is it makes you makes us feel comfortable. I signed all the forms and I was like, oh, I'm really nervous, but you guys seem cool. And then I saw social proof. So I'm sitting there signing the, signing the forms and then I see the boat and then all the scuba divers come off and they walk into the shop. And so that's social proof, right? And that is what helped me become more at ease. Like, wow, there's like so many people that have paid this company to do scuba dives so they must be good right because i see so many people who are doing dives with these people and so that's key social proof right so that's why in my marketing i try to in, 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 inject social proof wherever i can because i know that the more people see the results i'm getting people the more people will be like oh yeah aaron you know what you're doing because obviously i know what i know i know what i'm doing but to you watching you need social proof most of the time to make a decision to know that, oh, this is a safe decision. I'm, I'm going to get the result if I pay this people. I'm going to get the result if I pay Aaron. I know that I'm going to get the result because he's coached other people before, right? So that's another thing. And then the next thing is, uh, you know, actually implement delivering the value. So how they do that and how they are so patient and compassionate with people on and, and how they build rapport. So that's a big one. So when we first met the dive master today, this morning, straight away, he was an instantly likable person because he was building rapport. Like he was cracking jokes. He's like, hey, my name is Jack. And then he's cracking jokes. And you know, it was just funny. Like he asked my name, he asked everyone's name. And then I said, my name's Aaron. And he's like, and then he said my name wrong. And I was like, no, it's Aaron. And then he was like, and then someone said, oh, my friend was like, oh, like a Aaron. And he's like, oh, a Aaron. <laughs> and he started making jokes about um, how sometimes there's a lady called Denise. And if you've watched that skit, he sometimes thinks in his head, don't say D-nice, don't say D-nice. Like he just made a joke and it was actually hilarious. So that put us at ease straight away. It's like he's really good at building rapport. And in the next, the next few hours, like he briefed us on what we were going to be doing. Then he took us through the exercises. And yeah, he's just really, really good uh, instructors. Like him and Brooke was his assistant, like really good. And so, yeah, I'm making this video fresh because this stuff is fresh in my mind. So being really good with people, it's so fucking important. Like, that's the one differentiator between us doing business with these people versus all the other dive shops. I don't know what the other dive shops are like because I've only experienced this place. And this place, I would refer all the people who want to dive in Gilly to this place just solely based on the fact that, let's say that they're all the same, right? Let's say they're all the same. They've got the same level of instructors. That doesn't matter. What matters is given the level playing field, who stands out and why do they stand out? These guys stand out because they are really good with people. That is key, right? So 
it's a lesson for me as I'm making this video. I'm like, okay, when you, when you really care about your clients, when you really care about their results and their safety, as in, in this example, their safety, right? You win because, and you're not only just caring, you're also showing that, you know, you're, you're able to have a good time. It's like my client told me before, he's like, the reason I chose you, Aaron, is, is because if I'm going to go climb Mount Everest, I want, a, I want a buddy that is fun. Like, I don't just want someone who knows how to climb Mount Everest. I can get there anywhere, right? If, if they know how to climb Mount Everest. I want someone who's fun, who's going to make this journey, this process enjoyable. And that is what these guys do. And that's the lesson that I'm reminded of, again, is you've got to make the process enjoyable because everyone's selling the same shit here. Why are we choosing these people, right? And that's the thing. The reason why we're choosing these people is because they are going above and beyond with the care. And they, they, they show that they care with their actions, that they care about the client. Never once did I feel like they're pushing me to buy the next open water thing. Because open water is like, I mean, relatively speaking, it's kind of like high ticket. Well, it's not high ticket, but for this kind of thing, it is. It's like, I think it's like 350 or 400 bucks or something for the open water certification, right? And, and the first day is like, I don't know, I think it's like 80 bucks. So it's like a kind of a, it's not a big jump, but I'm basically spending more money, right? But not once that they say, hey, you should fucking do it. They're just like, oh, if you want to do it, then we're here. If not, then no worries. So it's up to me, no pressure. And because they know that they've done a good job with how they've treated me, how I feel, <laughs> sounds weird, but like, I feel good doing business with these people. And I feel taken care of. That's why I'm giving them my money. That's why I'm trusting them with my life, literally because I know that they care. And so I just wanted to make that video just to explain some things about social dynamics and breaking down why I choose to do business with certain people and why you choose to do business with certain people. And uh, yeah, it's getting dark now. And yeah, it's, it's an amazing place, this place. Really tea. You should come here. It's an, it's, I can't speak highly enough of this place. It's such a unique island. So much going on, great nightlife some cool restaurants and it's just very unique because there's no bikes here there's only got push bikes and horse and cart and that's it and some electric scooters so if you want to enjoy a vacation here and learn about business with the lessons i just shared with you yeah it's a great place to come and dive as well we're going to go out diving tomorrow and the next day and then after that i'll get my certification and that's another thing that i'll touch on in another video but the mental side of diving and how it really makes you focus on being present because when you look up and you see the top you're like what the fuck am i doing down here like i shouldn't be down here but you just got to trust in your in your uh dive master and uh, you'll be fine so i'll touch on the mental side of diving in another video but uh, this video is about the social dynamics and the business side of of yeah just life really like being a, a person that cares and has compassion and patience and is good at you're good at building rapport who you're cracking jokes that really goes far with business and this is what i've learned today again and i know this already but i just relearned it and it's really nice to see people that are good at this stuff because it makes you feel good to spend money with them so yeah masters of their craft people that are masters of their craft like they're not only good at that stuff but they're also very knowledgeable of course and yeah they care so that's my differentiator if you're wondering what makes me different from all the other health coaches out there i fucking care man like i care about your results and these people care about my results of diving which is why i do, I do business with them so yeah hope you find this video helpful link in the description for all the other information links on how you can work with me and i'll talk to you in the next video my name is aaron like and subscribe ciao